Good morning, Reverend Father Crispino de Souza, Principal Reverend Father Bernard Fernandez, Supervisors, Teachers, and you, my dear friends. Before we begin with our class assembly, I call Master Aditya Porali to say the prayer. Father, we thank you for the night and for the pleasant morning light, for rest and food and loving care and all that makes the world so fair. Help us to be the good things to do, to be to others kind and good in all we do, in all we say, to grow more loving every day. Thank you, Aditya, for the prayer. It is good to meditate on the goodness of God. As we begin our day, I now call upon Ms. Jancy for the meditation. I request the boys to take a prayerful posture or a comfortable posture. Just relax yourself. Relax your mind. Calm yourself. Let nothing bother you at this moment. Breathe in, breathe out. Take a deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Imagine yourself walking this path in a forest, looking at the trees around you. The birds singing. Just thank the Lord for all the beauty around you. Don't forget you are a masterpiece. No one can replace you. You are one of a kind. Think about one good value about yourself or a character about yourself. One good quality that somebody must have appreciated about you. Let go of the negativities. Focus more on the positive things in your life. Just be happy. We all have the power that God has given us, that lies within us, to make our own selves happy. All we need to do is utilize this wonderful power within us.
gently open your eyes rub your palm and put it on your eyes Thank you, Ms. Dancy, for the meaningful meditation. Good morning, dear fathers, supervisors, teachers, and my dear friends. Desperate to do one step, hope is being able to see light despite all of the darkness. Yes, a new talk for hope this new year 2022. The wings of hope carry high over the wings of light. When the world seems to give up, hope whispers, try it one more time. We, the class, Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Once a middle-aged man there lost his job and was looking for a job to support his living. In a newspaper, he found that a job of an office boy is available. Wow! I found a job! Next day, he goes for the interview. Good morning, sir. May I come in? Yes, come in. Sir, my name is Dev Gupta. I have seen your advertisement in Times of India and have come for an interview. Good. So Dev, tell me more about yourself. Manager interviews him and gives him a test. The manager gives him a sheet of paper. They return the sheet in a few minutes. They clears the test. You are hired. Please give me your email address so that I can give you further details and then I will write up. I don't have a computer, neither do I have any, any email address. What? In today's time, if you don't have
They have decided to sell those veggies, but when we go to go, believe me, he was able to sell off all those veggies and even double his money. This made him realize that he can survive by this and started to go to the supermarket every day early in the morning and buy fresh veggies. And then the whole day he would sell them by going door to door and by evening he would sell all the veggies he bought in the morning. It was a 
second time at that time. But that uh, little bit we know that uh, there will there will be problems, there will be uh, uh, situations coming our way which will be difficult. We were learning about the situation where there were job losses, uh, there were migrant issues, or uh, there were the pandemic deaths which were happening. It was really chaotic. It also came to our doors as my when my husband got a call from the office saying that there will be a fifty percent cut in his salary. That is when it was a constraint on our finances. With the family of six, it was really difficult for us to understand how to go about things. But as you saw, we all know that we all go to God. That is the time when we uh, started learning our online classes because the churches were closed. We had a family prayer time every day. And that is the time when you know, it was a more of a prayer time than the time with God. Uh, then we decided that like, why not start something from home. That is the time when we started our whole cuts business. And my husband came forward and said that, don't mind, I will do the delivery and that is free of charge to cut down the competition which is there. So that is when uh, you know we came forward as a family to help each other in the situation. And uh, it was really a very nice thing because this business started out at no profits, but definitely it helped us to tie down the situation uh, of the financial constraint. So, friends, I, I just want to share with each one of you that uh, during this situation where there will be hopeless situation is always a hope. And with the grace and strength and the faith in God, we all can... Yeah. Hello, good morning parents and my dear students. I am a parent of uh, ADEF. My name is Pooja. Uh, here I want to say something about my own experience where the situation is hopeless. But with the help of uh, other people and God uh, believe we have overcome with that. Uh, basically, nowadays I, I am seeing the situation where the children are attending online sessions, where some students are coming offline, and then again the government has said in before uh, in January the online again. So even children are also very stressed due to this school uh, unusual timetable. So I really uh, like to pray for to God that please make a uh, bless our students, our all children on on this world that we will get rid of, of of this COVID situation, this pandemic situation where the children are suffering more, some are losing their jobs. Even I also uh, didn't get a salary during a few months, but now uh, I work, I'm still working, and uh, I would like to share one situation where. My sister-in-law faced a lot of problems. They got COVID positive, and people are treated a very uh, harsh way with them. So that time even we can't uh, go and contact them when the COVID was very high on stage. So then, uh, luckily, the situation was very hopeless. They were in hospital, hospitalized. Even my husband went. So he also, the uh, society people said, now we also stay in quarantine. So we spent that also. We have spent quarantine days also with my son. Uh, my son is Lalit. He is very understanding. Well, he listens to me. Means nowadays children are not sitting at one place in house. But but I make him to sit in a house due to this pandemic situation. So uh, this hopeless situation, I overcome with my family support and definitely my mother-in-law, even she also suffered a lot. She prays to God that all these children will get on uh, regular classes, they will chair in their school. Even I am also a school teacher. I am very happy uh, being as a teacher because teaching where you understand the child heart, the feeling. So even uh, I would like to pray God that this situation will come under control and students will come to school and they will enjoy their school days regularly. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your hopeful experiences and planting the seed of hope in us. We now present a dance on hope, stay positive, never give up.
Good morning, dear. Good morning, boys. I hope you all are well. Are you sad because of the current situation? Don't be sad. Cheer up. Be still, fast and strong. Don't lose hope. The days might be hard, but the principles are very easy. Remember, suffering has the power to transform us into saints. Grace fills up what is lacking in us and enables us to do the things we could not have done on our own path. I have only one wish for you all, that you could be happy in both this world and in the next. Yes, go to the word which God has written on the proof of every man, says Victor Hugo. We now call upon Father Crispin, oh sorry, we now call upon Rector Reverend Father Crispin de Souza to speak some words. Thank you, Aditya, and good morning to everyone present here for this assembly. Am good I morning. On? Good morning, Father. Okay. So, it was a good assembly on the theme that we have been running through this year in our school, the theme of hope. Yeah. And the backdrop very beautifully portrayed the theme, you know, hip hop for hope, uh, with uh, that man jumping from 21 to 22. Uh, we really hope that now with uh, the offline classes starting, more and more students will come to school and we will be able to have school normally as before. You know, from the experiences that were shared by you and your parents in the assembly today, uh, I'm sure all of us realize with this COVID crisis, we are now living in a 3D world. You know, uh, what is this 3D world? Uh, the first D uh, stands for disruption. Our lives have been disrupted. You know, schools were shut down. You know, businesses also have not run as they have normally done. Production has gone down. Uh, you heard your parents also sharing or some of them did not get their salaries. So the whole family life has got disrupted. So lots of disruptions have taken place uh, in this COVID situation. The second D is destruction. Many things have got destroyed. And the first and the most important thing is that lives have got destroyed. People have died. Uh, many have lost their near and dear ones. You know? uh, many businesses have shut down because they just could not run in the COVID crisis, especially travel and tourism, the entertainment industry. So many things, people have lost their jobs and have got completely destroyed. You know? And the third D is distraction. Uh, I don't know whether it is good or bad but this covid crisis has put a device in each and everyone's hands and the amount of time that we have spent in front of our devices is much more 
than what we would have spent if we were in school. And with those devices come a lot of distractions. So people, especially students now, are finding it difficult to focus you know, on one particular thing. As that parent said, uh, children are finding it difficult to sit in one place because there is so much of distraction all around the place. Now, the only way we can counter these, this 3D effect in our lives because of COVID is by moving forward from a D to an E. And what is E? E is education. And not just any education. You have been fortunate enough to have a Don Bosco education. And a Don Bosco education is an all-round education. It is not just about academics. That is why we have assemblies like this, where you can come and speak, where you can come and dance, you can sing, you can bring your talents to the fore. Yeah. So it is education only that will help us to overcome the 3D effect that all of us have been experiencing for the last two years so my prayer and hope is that everything will come back to normal and we will have all our children back in school and we will see the campus hustling and bustling with all the students good morning and have a nice day thank you father for those beautiful insights We now call upon Principal Reverend Father Bernard Fernandez to speak some words. So good morning to all of you. And uh, in the first place, thanks to Father Rector for his presence at the assembly and also for the message that he has left us with hope uh, integrating the three D's and the three E's which will help us to take our life forward. Congratulations to the class teacher, Miss Jancy, and uh, all of you, my dear boys, students of standard 8F I know there has been a lot of uh, preparation into this assembly, quite a few rehearsals, quite a few movements here and there to ensure that the recording is done well. And I must congratulate you also for a smooth recording that has been done, Okay, given the many challenges and the limitations that you have. And also wish to thank the parents for the active participation in today's assembly. You are part of the assembly. And uh, besides that also, in the background, always encouraging your students, encouraging your children to be a part of the assembly and uh, play an active role in it. So thanks to each one of you. Also in the credits, I saw the names of Miss Bela and Miss Arnaz. Okay, so I suppose you two must have uh, done your bit to ensure a good assembly today. So thanks to you also. Uh, going to the assembly, just to highlight the many parts of the assembly, the prayer and beautiful meditation by your class teacher, Ms. Jancy. The skit portraying your team, the beautiful backdrop as Father Rector mentioned okay, on the, uh, for the assembly. Then I quite like the to parents who came forward to share their personal experiences and uh, in short what they told us was uh, you know from a hopeless situation we can always derive hope they both of them shared their challenges what they went through at the time of the COVID pandemic difficult situations but at the same time they gave us hope they gave also provided opportunities to be at home and to pray so thanks to the parents also for their contribution to this assembly. I wish to congratulate you for the nice dance, well-coordinated dance. Okay. The compares, 
both online compass as well as offline compass. You know, yeah, you did a good job. And uh, the message by the priest was good, especially from suffering. Uh, what is that leads us to happiness? So all in all, you all have given us a beautiful message to live by. If only we put in practice some of these points, we will be happy. And we, love, we will live our lives for the better. So once again, congratulations to all of you. Well done and have a beautiful day. Thank you, Father. Thank you, teachers. And my dear friends, may your day be a delight. Thank you, Father Crispino and Father Bernard, Ms. Christina, Ms. Anita, all who are present here, and the parents, Ms. Arnaz and Ms. Bela too. Thank you, my dear boys, for your cooperation. And thank your parents as well. May God bless you all. Thank you. ATF, that was a lovely assembly. The dance was really, uh, I mean, meaningful in the sense everything does not have to be jazzy and fast in order to convey a message. And uh, I mean, when we hear it from the parents themselves, when we hear personal experiences, reality becomes even more real to us. And you can see you're not reading about it. You've got live experiences amongst your own friends. And so there is there is hope. There is hope. It's a well presented assembly. Thank you, Jancy. Thank you, Miss. Yeah. So thank you, boys. You may leave quietly for your classroom, Marathi.